Jerry's Artorama very, very, very kindly sent me this art supplies in this video, and I am very, very, very happy and grateful and thankful for everything because I'm a very, like, small artist, and I don't normally get a whole lot of opportunity, and this was just an incredible opportunity. I already loved Jerry's. I already used Sharvin, and I was asked very kindly if I would like to sample a couple of colors that I did not have, and of course I said yes, because it's very hard to say no to art supplies. So! we picked out three colors and they also sent me this canvas they also sent me this canvas it is incredibly amazing it is called the edge the edge and uh this has already been painted on and i am working on editing the video it is not done yet it has a few more layers to go before I am satisfied with saying that it is done. So, this is an 11 by 14 canvas called the Creative Edge, and I absolutely love these canvas. This canvas is is very good quality, and it's it's not really that expensive because. The one thing I really have been working hard on is to improve the quality of my canvases without really wanting to break the bank too much, but these actually do just that. I 100% will be buying these canvases from now on. Um, I have tried Fredericks. I will still use Fredericks, um, and my daughter's painting is painted on a 16 by 20 Fredericks canvas um, so definitely look out for me to be using these canvases from now on because I absolutely 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 love these canvases these canvases are incredible and um, the paint that I got I will also be using a lot more Charvin because I love how highly pigmented Charvin is, and it's just an incredible paint. It's handmade, it's, oh, I can't say enough things about it because I feel like having a very good quality paint is a, a necessary thing when you are trying to be a professional artist, which is what I am striving to be, which is a professional artist. Um, I love art and being a professional artist is very important to me so I thoroughly enjoy all of these products and I hope you enjoy this video um, I said that there was going to be a rose speed painting and I was gonna speed like put this speed painting in this video but uh, I will not be because this video is already close to 30 minutes long and um, I'm just going to do the art on its own. The glorious, glorious art on its own because it deserves its own individual video with how amazing that Charvin is. And I am going to explain a lot more about Charvin in that video and I hope you cannot wait and if you would like to be notified when that video goes live just hit the subscribe button and be sure to click that notification bell because you will not get notified unless you click that notification bell so i hope you forgive that i did another unboxing video of jerry's artorama supplies and i'm going to be doing a lot more of those because i love jerry's and being in quarantine, I don't want to go to an art store and um, I just don't want to deal with all of that right now. And I think it's safer to just order online and have it sent to you. And that way you can wipe things down yourself and 
you're not in contact with a lot of people you are still technically in contact with the postman but you know it's much less of a hassle as going inside an art store which hopefully I can eventually go into a Jerry's Artorama because I've actually never been inside a Jerry's Artorama so hopefully my next trip to North Carolina I can put that on the trip itinerary so uh, fingers crossed uh, probably not this year but anyway so I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah if you want to see the samples that they sent me of the paint colors definitely keep watching and if you would like to see this painting and the process definitely hit that subscribe button and i will see you on the next video all right guys i love you thank you for your support i hope you are well and much love Mwah. disclosure in this video you will hear my fan it is very hot here in new york today so i need to have a fan blowing on me directly in order to produce these videos because otherwise it would just be too uncomfortable to sit here at the desk and do these videos so i hope you guys don't mind and i hope you enjoy these videos that i am about to upload today so all right guys i hope you are well and i hope you enjoy this video because it's a really fun one all right guys so you can tell by the title of this video that, once again, th that I received some more gifts from Jerry's. The first one that I did, I received a gift card from Jerry's to buy some supplies, and I showed you what I bought with that gift card in full disclosure. And this one was talked over with the person that I was talking to from Jerry's and we decided that these particular supplies will work very well and i am very just excited because this is like my first like okay the gift card was the first but like this is my first actual gift with real um so I, i'm still blown away at it. it's so surreal so let's stop talking and actually crack open the box because the supplies is just calling to me to open the box so we're gonna open the box right now so i got my trusty trusty blue handled scissors which i use in just about all my unboxing videos and we are gonna figure out what side of the box is going to be the easiest to open so it looks like this side it's going to be off frame a little bit, so I do apologize. I don't have my new tripod yet that I ordered because I did order a better tripod. For hopefully better content. <laughs> okay. These boxes are very... Hopefully I didn't cut anything that is important. Like, hopefully. I can see some gray packaging and I'm wondering if that's maybe just for the box or if that contains something. So, okay, it's styrofoam. Okay, so that was just styrofoam. Alrighty. So this first thing is a canvas. Now, I have been trying to upgrade my canvases for the last few years now, and I finally started using Fredericks this year. So I was talking to the person I was talking to at Jerry's, and they offered to send this along with the other spice which i will show you in a minute for me to try out and this is called the edge creative mark canvas it has professional stretch canvas with 
four paintable edges. Great for oils, acrylics, and alkids. It's very beefy. Um, I've never seen that printed on a canvas before. So it feels very hefty, so I very much am loving this. So triple acrylic archival priming. Medium to smooth surface, tuck and roll construction. And it is the size 11 by 14. And that is actually the size that I've been working in the most lately is 11 by 14, 9 by 12, or 12 by 12. So, because I, as you've seen in my room vlogs, I have a small room, so storing big canvases right now is not really feasible at the moment. So, painting a little smaller has been my solution for that. So I am very excited about this canvas and I cannot wait to share the painting that I will be doing on this canvas today. So we're gonna move this out of the way now. So, this is the paint from the Jerry's Orama thing. Um, I already used this paint, so the colors that I received uh, just enhance what I already have, and I will show you after I open this. I just want to show you the colors that I picked out. Let's get a trusty blue handle scissors out and cut this bad boy open, shall we? Charvin paint. A lot of the Charvin paint will come with this little box. I still have all of my boxes from my own personal orders. These are very handy boxes. As you can see, the Charvin on top of it. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> so Charvin on top, and the colors I chose. I chose Cadmium Yellow Deep because it's kind of like an orange color. It looks really cool. Um, Julia Pink. I really like painting with like florals, so I feel like this pink would be very, very good for that. And I got French Primary Yellow. Because I have a yellow, it's just the yellow that I have is Naples Yellow. So. It's good to have a more primary yellow. This is a lot more see-through because you can see, you can tell, these are all hand painted on. So you don't see the Charvin with this color, but you see the Charvin with this color. Which is okay for me because I use yellow mostly for mixing. So I'm very excited to get tucked into the painting, but I do want to show you 
the colors I've already purchased with my own money. So let's get a good gander at these colors. I'm very excited for this color. Very, very excited. Oh, it's so cool. It's like very orangey. I like it. So I'm going to move these to the side and I'm going to get out my paints that I have. Okay, so I have all of my Sharpen in these containers, like this container, not these containers. It's only one container of Sharpen that I have. So first color we have right here is Carbon or Carbone Black. Because it has the E at the end, so I think it's carbone black. And I try not to use this too often um, because these larger tubes are a little bit pricier. But I got it during a super sale, so you know, I took advantage and I got a darker color. Alright, I'm going to just pour these out. We're going to start with these two. I got Caribbean Pink. Now, again, I did mention about my florals. I paint florals quite often, so that's why I have two Caribbean Pinks. Uh, I also do some ocean landscapes, and uh, I like to mix this into the sand colors. So, this is actually a really good versatile pink, and I love the color of it. And it's also like good like when you're trying to mix a flesh tone, like a skin tone, you add that in there for like a warmer tone. Alright, so, <laughs> there's a reason why I have three whites. Um, and my only main reason is because of those three months we've been in quarantine and it's been tricky to get titanium white so I very much love the Charvin white um, I do have Galleria Windsor Newton white like I said like a long time ago that I was a sole user of Windsor Newton paint but that was before I even tried Charvin. So Charvin is now my new favorite top brand because of how incredible it is. And that one painting that I did of the mountain, um, the blog type painting that I did recently, I used only Charvin paints. So you can just tell the difference of the colors in that one. I definitely can. So. I have three things of white because, yeah. Now, I have two absinthe green. Um, I actually ordered a different green, but I ended up getting two of these, which is okay because I love this color. I wanted uh, the green of Nice. Um, but I got, ended up getting an absinthe green instead, so I think there was like a mix up there, but I am not upset because I love um, absinthe green. It's a really good green. Uh, like Again, for my florals and my nature paintings, this is really good. So I'm very happy with these two colors. So you can see I have a lot of different blues and again I paint a lot of scenery so let's move these out of the way real quick. I have blue shadow, I have This blue um, rubbed off, but I'm gonna put it up there. 
Send Send Blue Series 2. I can't see the name because it rubbed off somehow. So, um, kind of embarrassing there. <laughs> uh, Cobalt Blue Hue. Uh, if I can remember what blue this was, I will I will link all of these colors down below in my description box. Um, Alexander's Blue, which is a really good blue. You, I use it for skies and ocean and lakes. And last but not least, um, Cerulean Genuine. So. I've never seen a Cerulean Genuine in most other paint brands before, so I thought this was really interesting. Um, it's not as see-through as it looks on here. Um, I like painting with this blue and mixing with this blue, so I'm very happy with it. Alright, I'm going to put these away. I have Charvin's Bright Magenta. I understand I have like three different like pink shades. Yes, I do know how to mix colors and I do mix colors a lot, but I also think that it's really important to have like pre-mixed colors of colors you use a lot of. So that is why I have so many of these different colors. I have the bright magenta and it's actually a lot more opaque because to me anyway it was a lot more opaque. Um, I recently did a floral painting with this color and it is just amazing and I love it. And I will show you that, that floral painting and do not worry. I have a sped up process of that painting that I am going to put at the end of this video and next to last but not least I have burnt sienna <laughs> um well it's burnt sienna so I I do know that I can mix browns and I do know how to mix browns um, but I've always found it hard to mix burnt sienna, at least for me, it's hard to mix burnt sienna, so that is why I have burnt sienna, and being a nature landscape type painter, um, I really use this color a lot, so yeah, uh, that's this color, <laughs> and I have two more colors. This is the yellow, it's Naples yellow. So now I have two yellows. This one I can use more for mixing now a lot better than Naples. Um, I wanna use Naples on its own, like not mixed in a color because it's so beautiful on its own. And I'm actually, I'm gonna show you a painting I used it in recently. This is the Naples yellow on its own, the yellow part in this painting. And it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, and this is the titanium white from Chardin. This whole painting was made with the Chardin paint. Um, it's not like a huge detailed painting, but that's okay. So, yeah. Sorry, there's a annoying person outside with their vehicle. Okay, so Naples yellow. And finally, we have Parm Dioxidine. So, I probably said that name wrong. Parma Di Dioxidine. I love purple, and again, I'm a floral painter, so purple is important. Uh, I use this color in my recent lilac painting, which I will show you. I will show you, I'm getting it right now. I used 
this purple in this painting and I also used it in the background of this painting. I just mixed it a lot with white. So I really love this purple. Again, I love painting florals and landscapes, so this purple will come in really good handy. And I'm very happy with how this painting turned out with this purple. Alright, so that is all the paints I have. So you can see how these colors will work with the paints I already had, which I am very excited to do more paintings with Charbon. I love Charbon and Charbon is my new obsession and you can see more Charbon being used in my next pieces of artwork and very excited so I just wanted to say thank you Jerry's for your support it really means a lot I am still blown away and um, let's recap what I received I will be demonstrating on this canvas and it's called the edge I showed you that it's got a really good back to it that these kind of backs are so strong and so sturdy they don't warp I've had paintings with these kind of backs for years now that have not warped or anything and these are a inexpensive but quality canvas it doesn't hold a number two Fredericks so I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, but we'll see how like smooth it can be when I paint on it because I am going to be demonstrating. Though the demonstration will be in a separate video because this video is already long. This is just me sharing what I got and yeah. So I am very, very blessed that Jerry's reached out to me to do this. Uh, I'm not sure what to call it. I'm going to call it a collaboration, I guess. Uh, this collaboration with Jerry's. And I'm very happy to demonstrate this canvas for you. And if you would like to see that, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet to get notified when I upload that video which won't be too far off of this video being uploaded. So you guys are amazing. I hope you are well and I cannot wait to see you on the next video. All right guys, bye.